So once again, we have reached the end of another DLC cycle, and uh, I made the exhibit for the last North American animal added, the alligator. I put them in a building right next to the California sea lion, and honestly, originally I had recorded a video building the building itself, and I don't know, it's just kind of like a big limestone cube for the most part, so don't think I'll be uploading it uploading that, but uh, we'll be doing some work on it later on, like I usually do. Uh, as for the exhibit itself, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's another one of my classic <laughs> big glass biodome <laughs> kind of exhibits. Uh, and yeah, I like how it turned out. It's got a nice swampy feel to it. I used Everglade colored water and then turned up the transparency and have these tall glass windows, you know, so guests don't hop in. Uh, there's no actual alligator statue, but put one of the caiman and of the saltwater croc, you know, just other crocodilians. Uh, I added a few other things off camera after the fact, like this, this dock, and I also added a few shallow water holes kind of to break up some of that land. And yeah, I like it's it turned out, and lots of mangroves, and plenty of room for them to swim. The rock wall facade along that side. Lots of reeds, you know, can't be a North American swamp without them. The cattails, that is. Give the guests, like, almost a full view around the exhibit, except for the back wall there. Used some different foliage. I think this is the first time I've ever used any of the mosses besides the caribou lichen. Uh, oh good, the keeps having that good old getting stuck on the path glitch. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, you see I added a few shallow water holes, you know, crocodiles and alligators sometimes like to sit in shallower, almost like mud pits. Speaking of, it might make them like a darker, muddier color. That's a good idea. Um, don't know how much time they'll actually be spending on land, even though the exhibit's about half land, half water. And I didn't do an underwater viewing. <laughs> I, before the DLC even came out, I was like trying to build a building with underwater viewing, similar to my Cayman habitat, but I, building underwater viewing to begin with is difficult, but then trying to put it in a building on top of it, it uh, it's like my number one pet peeve in the game. I, I'll, Probably never do it again unless there's more aquatic animals added. But get a pretty good view of the big male there. See, so heading towards one of the shallower mud holes. Yeah, overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. I also added uh, some more diamondback terrapins. So, this is the second exhibit of them. I have. Can't really remove them from the small reptile house because it would unbalance things there the way I built it. But, you know, I felt like they belonged with the the alligators over here. Similarly, I added the, technically the last DLC animal that I needed to include, the, uh, the bullfrog. There's only four of them in here, which doesn't seem like a lot, consider how small they are. And, here they are. Here's one of them. Pretty good model for for the exhibit animals. Some of them seem to be less detailed than the habitat animals, obviously because they're smaller. There's another one on the log. Didn't even see it at first. And there's one under the water there. So that's three of the four. Uh, but yeah, tried some different stuff for this building though, like a wooden interior, limestone outside, not exactly how 
much of a fan I am of it, and tried some different kind of accent pieces like that. I don't like how the sandstone floor here clips through, but made these little, I don't know, almost dioramas around there and along the front. Also, I have played this game for 540 hours, and I did not know that there were preset facades that you could use for the inside of these exhibits. I had no clue. So I went over and changed the small animal exhibit house over there, and I'll probably be going through all my zoos and changing it before I just put like concrete walls and change it to a matching color, but really wish I knew that before. Uh, but yeah, so back to the alligators themselves. Yeah, just a nice swampy habitat. And I also did something a little different with adding this kind of peninsula there where they can swim underneath and an island there that they can half use. They can only go on half. I wonder if I can walk through the exit from here. Nope, stuck on the jetty. Wow. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of things have an offspring. I turned on breeding and aging again so I could get some babies of the new animals for the inevitable updated highlight video that I do at the end. Because now this is technically the second time this North America Zoo has been finished. Uh, here's a view in the water. Forgot I was in Tagged Camp for a second. And of course this is being made after the patch, which increased the alligator group size. Because before a lot of people were complaining that they couldn't be, could only be kept in pairs, and now they can be kept with more. Honestly, I hope they did the same thing with caimans, but I think it's a little too far gone. But of all the things, I thought it was kind of funny that that's what people had a fuss about. I think I said it before, but the alligators were probably the animal I was looking forward to the least in this update, but I'm happy they're here. They're growing on me. It's honestly one of the best models in the game. What was that? Playing in the sprinkler. Okay, yeah, yeah they're growing on me. <laughs> uh, but I think that's gonna wrap it up. Been rambling for a while, going over the building and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll be about it. So as always, if you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Take care.